A handy little tool that's available within OneNote is called Send to OneNote. And this is something that allows you to take screenshots or screen clippings of anything that's on the internet and automatically put it into a page or a section in your notebook. So if you want to impress your friends at parties, this is the tool to use. So when you open up OneNote into the full version like I have here, you will have another window open next to it and you won't be able to see it on my screen, but at the very bottom of my toolbar, if I click down over here, I have something that says send to OneNote and you're going to see some buttons that are on here. So I'm going to use the screen clipping option to take a screen clipping of something on the internet and I want to plug it directly into a page within my OneNote notebook. So what I'm going to do is I have open up Internet Explorer and I have a little screen clipping of this website that I would like to take and I would like to put it in my notebook. I want to remind myself how to embed videos in Edmodo and I don't want to have to type it out so I'm just going to take a quick screen clipping of it. So I'm going to click on that send to OneNote tool over here and then I'm going to click on screen clipping. And When I click on screen clipping everything kind of grays out and I'm going to hold down my left mouse button and I'm going to start at the upper left hand corner we could start at the upper right hand corner and I'm holding my mouse button down and dragging across the screen until I have the entire text that I want to include in my OneNote notebook. Once I let go, it's going to ask me now where do I want to put this little screen clipping. Now I have a lot of notebooks which is why there's a lot of different choices here. When I scroll down in this new window that pops up, I see all the notebooks, the OneNote notebooks that I've created. You should probably only have one unless you've been using OneNote before. So I'm going to look for the notebook that I want to include this on. And I'm going to click on the plus sign next to the notebook. And I want to put this on my Edmodo page. So you do have to have the section in the page created before you do this if you want it to go into the correct placement. And I want it to go into my new updates to Edmodo. So I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to click send to selected location. Now when I come back over to my notebook you can see the screen clipping is there and a really neat feature if you take screen clippings from Internet Explorer, I was on an Internet Explorer at the time, it will actually also take the link, it will put the link from where the screen clipping is which is a very handy tool because there were images that went along with this particular set of instructions so if I need to jump back to that page I have the link here, it also gives me a timestamp and a date stamp and tells me exactly where it's from. This only works if you take screen clippings from Internet Explorer because Internet Explorer is a Microsoft product. So if you're using Firefox or Google Chrome, you can take screen clippings. It's just not going to plug in the website from where it's from. So let's do that one more time just so you can review how to insert things from the Internet into your notebook. So I'm going to go back over to Internet Explorer and I'm going to go to another more important page. So let's say we want to get the biography of Tim Tebow to include in our notebook because this is important. So what I'm going to do is again I'm going to click on the send to OneNote button that's at the bottom which will always appear once your OneNote is open and I'm going to click on screen clipping and then I'm going to drag across everything that I want to include and you have to make sure everything you want to include is visible on the screen because you can't scroll and then once I let go again it asks me where do I want to put this which notebook do I want to put this in so I'm going to look for my notebook click on the plus sign I'm going to click on the plus sign next to my Tim Tebow section because I want it to go on the biographical information page and I'm going to click send to selected location and now if I go back over to my notebook I can see that this screen clipping has gone into the appropriate page and it has also included the link and it has time stamped it so I know exactly where this came from if I need to refer back to it. So this is one of the really neat tools of using OneNote is to be able to quickly grab things from the internet or even a PDF or another document if you have another Word document open you want to quick put a screen clipping of it in. Anything that is open on your computer that's in a digital format you can just take a quick screenshot of it and plug it in anywhere in your notebook.